Is this the face and the voice of a monster? Three words detectives hope will solve the brutal murders of 13-year-old Abigail Williams and 14-year-old Liberty German. A case captivating the country as their grief-stricken families desperately pray for justice. We're not stopping until, until she's home. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. Crime Watch Daily is now joining the massive manhunt for the killer or possible killers. Uncovering the latest new details on the investigation, talking to the people who knew the girls best. Say so sorry, so, so sorry for your loss. The girls' families are understandably distraught and still in shock. My name is Narissa Knight. I'm with Crime Watch Daily. So, so sorry for your loss, sir. Thank you. What, um, if you could, what is the family, how is the family holding up? What are, what are you doing now? What do you need now? What's going on? Just pray for us. Indiana state cops believe this man, who incredibly Libby filmed on the railroad tracks before her death, is the prime suspect. He's Caucasian, his face partially obscured by a hoodie and wearing blue jeans. This young lady is a hero to have a, a presence of mind to make sure she's activating a video system on this phone in order to capture that voice. Libby and Abby were brutally murdered on this trail in Delphi, Indiana, about halfway between Indianapolis and Chicago. Will she solve her own murder? Cops won't say whether the man's voice is that of the suspect Libby photographed. We believe his voice is distinctive enough that somebody would recognize it. Listen again, is he taking the girls to their deaths? Sergeant Tony Slocum from the Indiana State Police took me to the crime scene. A normally serene hiking trail winding its way through farm country. The trail goes across Deer Creek on this old railroad bridge about 100 feet above the water. How were their bodies found? Who found them? Unfortunately, their bodies were found uh, by members of an organized search party. Is there DNA evidence? You have his voice on tape. Do you feel confident about this? We are confident that we're going to catch the person in or person that killed these young ladies. We've learned that DNA testing has been put on the fast track, the voice being analyzed. Hopefully someone recognized that voice, and to me, it appears they're saying down the hill, down the hill, like they're directing the young ladies uh, where to go. It sounds like might even be a little exasperated, like he had told them to do that before, and they weren't quite listening, and, he, and he's telling them to do it. I'm her best young aunt. Crime Watch Daily with this new home video of Abby and Libby. They were best friends in the eighth grade on the volleyball team at this middle school. She's really nice and outgoing and just a really loving person. The school superintendent brought in grief counselors and tightened security. Nobody will come in or out, no matter who they are, parents or uh, contractors or anything like that, without going through the proper protocols of getting into the building. Abby and Libby love spending afternoons hiking on the Monon High Bridge Trail. This photo Libby took of Abby on the bridge is the last image of her alive. We launched a helicopter to show you a bird's eye view of the trail. Right now we're on a chopper looking at the area where the murders took place. That's the old railroad bridge over the creek. You can see how remote the area really is. This is the bridge where the girls posted a photo to social media. Detectives aren't saying whether the girls were killed by the creek or whether their bodies were just dumped there. You think this is one person or two people? Well, quite frankly, we don't know. We're, we're open to all possibilities. We know at the very least, at least we believe, uh, the evidence indicates that the person in the photograph has participated, but we don't know if there were more people. That means the killer or killers are still out there. Delphi is a typical small town in rural Indiana. It's only about three square miles, the kind of town where everybody seems to know everyone. The murders of these two young girls have shaken this close-knit community to its core. I don't go anywhere without somebody else, so. People are afraid. Yeah. 
This area where the girls were killed is a state park, so safe that there was no need for surveillance cameras on the trail. Dan McCain from the Wabash and Erie Canal Association tells us they're now considering installing cameras. We got 10 miles of trail, so it's, it's a little extensive to try to cover all of it. Heartbreaking, isn't it? It is, it is. The FBI put up 6,000 digital billboards in 46 states with the picture of the suspect and the tip line. So far, over 4,000 tips have come in. Every time it rings, we wonder if that's going to be the call, the person, whatever it is, the clue that we need to find who it is. And at the spot where the bodies were found, a makeshift memorial. Flowers mark the spot where Abby and Libby were likely snatched away on the trail. Two little girls who lost their lives at the hands of a cold-blooded monster. This trail was where the girls took some of their last steps. It's heartbreaking to us, and that's why we are working so hard uh, to get the person and or persons into custody uh, to face charges for the murder of Liberty German and Abigail Williams.